Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, your go-to source for the latest in music industry drama and news. Today, we've got a heated topic to dive into. Cameron and Mace have fired back at Jay Prince after he tried to back them down over their criticism of boxer Shakur Stevenson. It's been a wild ride, so let's break it down. First, let's set the stage. This all started when Cameron and Mace criticized Shakur Stevenson's recent world title defense, calling it boring. Stevenson didn't take kindly to the criticism and responded with a fiery social media rant, challenging the duo to glove up or shut up. In response, Cam threatened to slap fire out of Stevenson, making it clear that he sees a big difference between boxing and street fighting. Enter Jay Prince, the rap -a -Lot Records founder and Stevenson's manager. He stepped in, warning Cameron and Mace that he would fade all Stevenson's shots and take all bets. This move didn't sit well with the Harlem rappers. On their sports talk show, It Is What It Is, Cameron and Mace addressed Jay Prince directly. Mace pointed out that they don't see themselves as little niggas who should be intimidated by a big homie like Prince. He questioned why Prince, at 60 years old, is still trying to play street games instead of guiding Stevenson properly. Cameron didn't hold back either. He called out Jay Prince for meddling in their business, questioning why he didn't defend his close friend Drake when Kendrick Lamar dissed him. Hey, chill, mm, mm, mm. I got wanna, this one. Go I got this gonna, one. Yeah. All right, go ahead. I got this one. You going to take all his fades and, and take all his shots and you handle everything out the ring? All right. So then we talking to you then, all right? <laughs> we starting with you. Since you the big homie, we starting with you. That's how it goes around here. Um, I, I want to just start off by saying you are so, like, lacking self-awareness. Like, when you, when you give such a lackluster performance and then you think you can make threats to people because you gave a lackluster performance, pause. You don't have the right to tell me what I should like or to tell Cam what he should like. That's that's not your place. Like art is subjective. Right. So if art is subjective and I don't like something, you you can't really get mad at us because we don't like something. And you're standing there with two. I mean, two Hall of Fame boxers that are constantly letting their hands go. So I think is is crazy that Andre Ward let his hands go. Terrence Crawford definitely let his hands go. And then you walk out with these boxes and you don't tell the next guy to let his hands go. This is this is a, a lapse of judgment. And I'm going to tell you another thing. When you're dealing with older people, they're the last to know that things have changed. We not your little niggas like the way you talk it. I, I don't get what you mean. <laughs> We're not your little niggas, like for real. All that big homie stuff, that's for little niggas. Little niggas <laughs> have big homies. We're not little niggas, so we don't even respect big homies. I know Killer doesn't, and for me, I never respected niggas in the streets. That's why I always got the problems I got. Niggas would tell me, Maze, chill. No, chill for what? Who is this nigga? That's how I feel listening to this, man. Like... I want to respect you, but I can't. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if I got a little, like the dudes that raised me, if I was out of pocket, they would tell me I'm out of pocket. They wouldn't let me put them on a crash out mission. They would say, yo, Mace, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. Around here, we don't send niggas to do nothing for us. We don't pay niggas to handle our problems. Mm hmm you got to put in your own work around here, Lord, man. That's what you were supposed to tell him. You can't go out here and talk crazy and then send me on a mission. Mm -hmm. Nah, this is where the game got messed up. When young niggas started sending old niggas out. And just because this little ignorant nigga got a few dollars, he make all of you that's supposed to be real run after his mission. Mm. This is a problem, Jay Prince. And I'm going to tell you like this. If you're 60 years old. Mm. And you trying to be a street nigga? <laughs> you failed. You failed. You failed. You failed. I'm telling you this. And I, I, I'm, I stand. My name is Mace. I stand by this message. So what happened is Saturday night, I guess they interviewed him. And they was like, yeah, hey, is everything cool with you and Mace? 
with Mason Kim and all that, da, da, da. Fuck them bitch ass niggas. Them niggas are still bitch ass niggas. Ain't nothing changed. This is what he says Saturday night. This is a week after the fight. So the niggas who run my social media page, or our social media page, they got the same uh, humor that we got. Yeah. <laughs> they start putting up pictures of him when he's crying, the Olympics, whatever, whatever. The next day is when Jay Prince just say what she wrote. Hey, yo, my man, listen, James, let me explain something to you, bro. May said it exactly. Like you 60, nigga. You 60. What are you talking about? What are you talking Bro, I lost mad respect for you because I used to have mad respect for you. When you had Shakur with you, when you line um, young boy NBA up, why the fuck you got Shakur with you? And this is why he acting like that. This is exactly why he acting like that. Uh, talking about you got young boy NBA umbrellas in his keys to score. Young boy NBA told y'all niggas eat a dick. This is what he said. This is what young boy NBA said. Wack 100 was the most disrespectful. Wild disrespect. I ain't even going to repeat this shit Wack 100 said. Mad disrespectful. Drake is beefing with Kendrick Lamar as we speak. I have not heard. This is the first time Drake got into some shit and I hear you say shit to Kendrick Lamar now. Why do you think that you could tell us what we can and cannot say, my nigga? Control your nigga. Control that nigga. Ain't nobody going to tell a nigga Get the strap, and then we gonna sit there and be like, "Hey, hey, I think we we should shut up." Nah, nigga, this ain't no. This is not 1982, bro. You cannot sit here and tell niggas get the strap, and then niggas be quiet. Nobody know that part because I should just be going viral. You bugging, you bugging, James. You bugging, my nigga. And I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't know what bet you talking about. All that other slang, then bet it, whatever bet you talking about, bet it. I don't know what's Betty. <laughs> Betty. You want, you want Betty, Betty? I don't know what's Betty. Cam also reminded everyone of Prince's past issues with NBA Youngboy, expressing his disappointment in how Prince is handling things. Cameron challenged Prince's authority, making it clear that they won't be silenced. He even suggested Stevenson step up and fight Teofimo Lopez if he wants to prove himself. This feud is far from over, and it's clear that Cameron and Mace won't back down from Jay Prince or Shakur Stevenson. We'll be keeping a close eye on how this drama unfolds, so make sure to stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup. Until next time, keep it locked here for all your music industry news and drama.